Man, I haven't been this happy in, in so long. Hey, I'm Brian Park, digital editor at the Los Angeles Times, and just by looking at me, you can probably tell this guy likes to eat, and you would be correct. One of my favorite things to eat is a warm bowl of noodle soup, and one of the best noodle soups that I keep going back to time and time again is pho. Here in California, from the Bay to LA, we are blessed to have some of the best Vietnamese food outside of Vietnam. And today we're in Orange County at Soup Noodle Bar in Irvine, California, to have their rib bone pho. Listen, if I'm sitting down to order, we're not dining in these days, but if I were sitting down to order and someone walked by with this hulking bowl of pho, I mean, that's a head turner right there. And I'm asking, what is that? Because I'm getting it. Uh, when we first started it out, I, I, I was trying to play it safe. Um, for some reason, that did not resonate with, with customers. And, and we took some bold moves and said, uh, you know, let's just not think too much. Let's just ask them exactly what they want. Uh, let's just go out and see what's out there and start implementing what we think an evolution of pho would be. So we start with just the knuckle bones and water, and that's it. And we're gonna let it go super boil for a good 24 hours. Then we will transfer that into our big kettle. In that big kettle, and then just all of the trimming, all of the, the, the fat, all of the collagen that they have, so we use that as a, a finishing fat so that we cook it for another 24 hours to develop that kind of like, almost kind of like a brownish, like a Maya reaction of fat. Still no seasoning, no spices, nothing goes into there yet. It goes for another 24 hours, so the total 48 hours in the morning, and then you would strain it out. That's when you add all the aromatic from the ginger, the onion, um, all of the spices the seasoning would go in there. And it takes about two hours to kind of finish that off. And so whatever that you're eating is the pot that we just made an hour or two right at a time. But that's just the aromatic. The bone broth has been started two days ago. We wanted to keep the broth clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna still cook the rib bone in um, a pho flavor um, liquid. So have the rib bones um, have that pho taste and pho smell to it, but it doesn't have the blood that's going to leak into the broth and kind of destroy the broth. So the bone, uh, the, the rib bones, we do have to cook separately, but we also cook it in star anise and cinnamon and all of that flavor and, and season it. So when you eat the bone, it's, it still tastes like you, you cook it in the pho broth. So here you have it the rib bone pho from Soup Noodle Bar. The broth is very clear. It's been cooked for 48 hours. And the rib bones, nearly a pound of short rib meat. And look at that. I feel like Fred Flintstone. Yabba dabba do. So let's get started. I'm gonna add some sriracha. You don't have to if you don't want to. Add some basil. You know, depending on my mood, what I'm gonna add to my pho, sometimes I'll go clean. Today I feel like adding all the garnishes. We've got some bean sprouts in there. And throw in a wedge of lime. All right. You can sort of just tear away at that rib bone. Look at that. So the meat is really soft right now. Some people might not like it, but I like it with a little bit of the cartilage and the tendons still on there. It's the best part. And it just all seems so extravagant, right? I mean, the noodles and the pho is enough. But the rib bone, it really encourages you to use your hands a little bit. You got a little messy. You got to work at the meat a little bit, but it's soft enough where you can still pry it away pretty easily, which is nice. Let's get at this broth here now. The broth is clean. It's subtle. 
I mean, it's pho. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. I mean, how many times have we turned to pho in times of need? I certainly have. The weather is perfect right now for it. Listen, the weather's cold. It's a little brisk. It's the best time for pho, but really, any time's a good time for pho. I gotta pick the bones clean, though. My grandma, if she were around, she'd smack me if she saw how I was, e how I was eating this. I mean, this is just happiness in a bowl right here, right? If you like this video, or you just like me, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know some of your favorite pho around Southern California. Stay healthy, and if you're able to, order takeout, and when you do, tip generously.